What's going on you guys? So last time we talked a lot about why practical and logical guys have a tougher time with their dating lives and why a lot of the dating advice that they get generally isn't very good. Now in this video, what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about how those practical and logical guys can be successful in their dating lives, what they should do, and at the end, I'm actually gonna share with you why I think they actually have an advantage in some ways, okay? Now it's, might be hard to see, but at, speaking as a practical and logical guy myself, um, I definitely think there is. Okay, cool, so let's talk a little bit about what practical and logical guys can do to be successful. So I'm gonna talk about a few things that I think are the main ones that hold them back from being successful in their, or you know, learning and being successful in their dating lives. Uh, one of the first things that I notice about practical and logical guys is because they're smart guys who have maybe been successful in other areas, they come in with a little bit of an ego. You know, they kind of assume that it's like, like if Michael Jordan, when he came from basketball and started playing baseball, he actually learned really quickly and, you know, some people think he could have even gone to the major leagues. That's pretty incredible for a guy who's played basketball his whole life and really just started playing baseball right then and there. You're not going to learn like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan went from one sport to another physical sport. It would be like if Michael Jordan went from basketball to like basket weaving or something like that. Okay? It's a completely different discipline with a completely different set of skills. What you have to see yourself as is like practical and logical guys, they have a great product. You have a great product if women could see it, they would, you know, be all, be all into you. Your problem is that your marketing is not good for your product. Okay. And sometimes people watching this might think they have their products great and it's actually not great. <laughs> uh, so you got to work on that too. But if you do have a great product, meaning that you're a guy who's uh, caring, who's ambitious, who's uh, confident, but you just don't know how to talk to women, then yeah, then, okay, we need to work on the marketing side of it, to show that confidence, to show uh, that those sides of yourselves, okay? And marketing is a skill, just like anything else. That's one thing that I had to learn when I was growing my own business. When I was growing this business, I quickly learned that just giving really good advice and having the skill to do it wasn't enough. And I would get mad, I would be like, oh, it shouldn't be that way, just giving the best advice should be all you need. But I knew from seeing other guys who were giving not so good advice, but they had good marketing, they were doing a lot better than me. So I had to learn the game. I could either get angry about it or I could learn it um, and be able to succeed uh, like those guys were, but actually give good advice. And obviously, you know, having a great product will help in the marketing, but you can have the best product in the world, but if there's no marketing behind it or no good marketing behind it, no one's gonna buy it, okay? So think of it as that and kind of shed your ego and don't, just because you've been successful in other areas doesn't mean you're automatically going to be immediately successful here. You're in, you're in a different realm and that's okay. You know, it's okay to ask for help in this area. I find that guys, especially the practical and logical ones, they tend to not ask for help as much. You know, I've looked for mentors in this area because I admitted to myself, look, I'm not good at this. I'm not very uh, smart socially. Um, I'm not very just good at this stuff. So like I reached out to people who I thought were good and some of the mentors I had were a little crazy, but um, it worked for me. And that's why I do what I do, okay? And I continue to have mentors in my life. I have mentors for everything, all right? Um, so if you're on this path and you're a practical and a logical guy, and you're starting to do all of these different things, what is it about being a practical and logical guy that I think is kind of a superpower that's actually going to really help you, okay? And admittedly, I think at the beginning when it comes to understanding social situations, these kinds of guys have a disadvantage at the beginning, okay? You have it harder at the start, but if you take the time to actually learn this stuff, as a practical, as a logical guy, if you're able to break down social interaction to fundamental components, which is exactly what I have made my life's work to be able to do, and what I'm going to be releasing in the practical approaching system, then you are going to master it at a level that most people wouldn't even dream about. For me, I remember learning this stuff, learning how to walk up and talk to women and express myself and be charismatic and you know be more, more empathetic and all those different things that I talk about. I remember going through it and I remember it was like harder for me. I, was, I would learn slower than a lot of other people. And at first that was frustrating. And I want, I'm like, why can't I just learn as quickly as like my friends or, or whatever? 
But once I started to actually master my social skills and learn game and confidence and all that stuff, once I mastered that, I mastered it at a level that the people around me, my friends, the guys who originally I had been jealous of, couldn't. And it's because if you know things and you're able to break them down like the way that I've done, then no matter how you're feeling, no matter how you're doing, you don't need to pick yourself up or, or do a lot of the things that a lot of um, other guys talk about to be able to do, to be able to be successful, okay? The classic example is like if you meet a guy who's like naturally good with women or naturally good with people, maybe they were good with people in high school and in college, and you take them out, and then as an adult, they have trouble making friends, they have no new friends, all the people that they met have been from high school and college, and usually they get their girlfriend or wife during that period of time. If that wife leaves them, you know, usually they end up coming to me for coaching, or usually they end up doing something else, like, or just being lonely for the rest of their lives. A lot of times that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they stay happy forever with that person, but I, I've seen that happen a lot. It's because they haven't broken it down like a practical and logical guy would do. If you are able to push through the discomfort period that is go that it's going to take to get good at this sort of stuff, you will achieve a power that most people will not be able to possess. And it's because it's hard for you at the beginning. Play to your strengths. Recognize that this is going to be tough for you at the beginning. But if you make it through, it's going to be an incredibly rewarding experience. Probably the most rewarding experience that you're ever going to have in your life. You know, I know guys who come through my coaching programs. They come through that and afterward they tell me, Lloyd, this hasn't just helped my dating life. You know, I'm dating the girls that I want to date. I either have a really awesome girlfriend or I'm dating multiple women. Or, uh, not, not, not or, and I'm succeeding tremendously in my business and my financial and whatever, all of those things where people's skills are necessary, they start doing way, way better. And it's because they've learned it and they've mastered it at a level that most people um, just aren't gonna get to. And so if you're a practical and logical guy watching this, I really invite you to experiment with that side of yourself, okay? Don't expect to learn it right away, that's okay. It's totally fine, you know? That's why I'm coming out with the approaching system so I can break it down for you guys and make it easy for you. Also, see where you're at in terms of your mating intelligence. One thing I've noticed that a lot of smart guys is that they're very smart when it comes to math, computer science, or whatever their discipline is, um, so they can take, get very high IQs, but when it comes to maybe their intel emotional intelligence quotient, they're not so high. But even guys who have a, a high emotional intelligence quotient and a high IQ, their mating intelligence is something that's completely different. There's not, maybe some overlap with the EQ, but there's not a lot of whole overlap with the IQ and the mating intelligence. So if you wanna know how smart you are when it comes to the man to woman dynamic, then take the test that I have prepared for you here. It's free, uh, you'll just be added to the mailing list. And basically, I'll tell you your scores. I'm going to be coming out with a message today about that. So again, you guys, if you want to get more information about the approaching system, please click the link in the description box below. That's a great way to raise your mating intelligence. And I'll see you guys in the next episode tomorrow. Good luck out there.